Okay, so really quickly, I, I just saw this presentation. So we're presenting this at KubeCon next week. So we took a similar approach to the topology manager for Kubernetes, where we instead made a custom scheduler. Because um, one of the problems that we had with Kubernetes is all the forcing anything, anything in a upstream is really, really difficult and takes a long time. So we made a custom scheduler, which Kubernetes allows you to do, that is aware of PCI Express topology, NUMA, hyperthreading, GPUs, data plane NICs, the architecture of both the CPU and the GPU, and the difference between whether a uh, CPU core is used for the data path or if it's used for helpers. So you might want to put the helper cores on, for example, hyper-threaded cores that are shared with among, amongst each other, or you want the data path cores on their own hyper-threaded core with nothing else on the sibling. So we made a scheduler that's able to do this in Kubernetes. Um, it takes a little bit of a different approach to the topology and manager. Um, we've spoken to the, the people working on that at length. The topology manager is the upstream component, which is in kubelet on the node. Um, we're hoping that eventually that will do all these things. Uh, at this point in the latest release, it's uh, an alpha feature that's not quite, uh, not quite doing everything on this list, but eventually we would like to end this project and switch over to topology manager. Um, there's a couple of the features about it. We used a lot of the features uh, that were mentioned in the previous talk, like uh, node feature discovery, labels the nodes as to what, um, what CPU types they have, how many cores there are. We added some hooks into it so that it tells you which CPU cores are isolated, um, which GPUs it has, which NUMA node they're on, which PCIe switch, um, and a whole bunch more. So if anybody's interested, it's gonna be presented at KubeCon next week, but you can see the slides probably the week afterwards. Um, any questions? I wasn't planning on doing this, but I, this is exactly what he was talking about, so I figured it would go well with it. Okay. Yep. We, so it's going through our lawyers right now, and they, they promised me this Thursday we will be able to release it. So tomorrow, I guess. But it's a phone call with lawyers, so you never know how it's gonna end up. But he, he promised either this week or next week because KubeCon requires that you open source whatever you're presenting there. So. Anybody else? And also one more thing on the Kubernetes topic. Um, uh, in those last slides, the uh, Kube proxy is one of the biggest components that is kind of orthogonal to DPDK. It's built into Kubernetes. It runs through the Linux kernel. It does all the proxying. There's projects like VPP that, uh, that are trying to replace uh, Kube proxy or have an alternate Kube proxy that uses DPDK. But it would, it would be nice if there was more kind of community movement into making Kube proxy or an alternative that's DPDK driven. So you could do service discovery and load balancing inside of DPDK and not rely on the Linux kernel like they do now. Thanks. <laughs>